Hi, I'm Alexander Holroyd and this is the spinner linkage. And as you can see, the cube in the centre is rotating continuously and there's a thread which is tied to the cube and also tied to the frame. And although the cube is rotating continuously, the thread never gets twisted. Um, and in principle the thread could be replaced by a wire, an electrical wire, or a belt, or even a human arm. Um, and the fact that this is possible is, um, this phenomenon is sometimes called the Dirac belt trick, or the plate trick, or the candle dance. Um, and so far as I know this is the first time it has been done with a mechanical linkage. So here you see a series of coloured squares and any pair of consecutive squares like these two are just related by a hinge joint. So one is rocking back and forward with respect to the other by an angle of at most 45 degrees. And if you look at the moment the yellow square is in front and if the cube performs a full turn. Now the yellow square is in front again, but the arm is on the other side, on the left. But if I continue to rotate the cube by another rotation, now it's performed two rotations and the arm is back to its initial state. And um, mathematically what's happening here is that there is a double cover by the group of unit quaternions of the space of rotations and um, a rotation by one revolution is not a contractible path in the space of rotations, but a rotation by two turns does correspond to a contractible path in the space of quaternions. Um, so, to understand what's happening a little better on this model, um, here I have fewer of the coloured squares um, because in the main model um, half of them are just attached to these members to show the hinge joints but those are not necessary for the linkage so here I have half as many of the coloured squares and it becomes a little bit easier to understand what's happening if I separate the mechanism into two parts so this top part rotates like this and this part here is moving around but not rotating in itself and so you know this is perhaps not so hard to understand what's going on and on the other hand the bottom half simply rotates around itself like a rope would rotate around itself if it was bent in a half circle but these two motions together give the motion that you see and how is this working? Well, um, there are six universal joints. So a universal joint like this allows rotation to pass through an angle. And I realized a few years ago that it's possible to um, put a, a rigid rod inside the universal joint and that allows you to control the motion. And there are six of these, so um, in fact there is a single rigid rod in this shape that runs inside the arm and that rotates and that's what's driving the motion but the the cube is not rigidly attached to the end because it has to rotate at a different speed. There's a 1 to 2 ratio when the, when the arm rotates once, the cube rotates twice. I'm Alexander Holroyd and this is the Spinner Linkage.